Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello guys, how are you? Hope you're fine. Today we are going to extract the cinema highlight from cinnamon and Asia will tell us something about this experiment. So for this experiment you're going to need the bark which you can find on the cinnamon tree. You can find this very easily in your supermarket in the, in the spices sector. So let's see this experiment. Cinnamon is extracted from the bark of the cinnamon tree. In fact, uh, as we know, this bark contains uh, our oil that we want to extract and uh, also you, you need to know that this cinnamon is used uh, in cosmetics and also um, as a spice, as we said before and it can also be used as an antimicrobial agent and so to disinfect uh, other things and that's why we are going to extract it so for this experiment, uh, first uh, we're going to weigh uh, 25.5 grams of cinnamon bark. Uh, then we're going to take this cinnamon bark and we're going to crush it into those small pieces in a small pieces in a mortar. After that, uh, we're going to put this cinnamon uh, into our boiling flask uh, and uh, then we're going to add 200 ml of water and uh, boil everything. So uh, we want to uh, crush cinnamon because we want to raise the surface. Also, we want to remember that uh, this uh, crash must not be um, overdone because we don't want to obtain a, a powdered cinnamon because it can form too much foam when we uh, distillate it. it. Uh, another thing that is important is that when we distillate our uh, cinnamon with water, they are uh, not uh, highly uh, mixable with each other and so uh, if they are uh, mixable in a uh, vapor form when they condense they tend to uh, separate each other and that's why we can observe a cloudy color uh, from our solution that we obtain from the distillation because the oil is uh, diffused over the solution and it causes the uh, grey color of our solution so, uh, next uh, we are going uh, to boil this solution until we obtain uh, 100 ml of uh, uh, this plate. Uh, then we are going uh, to put this aside and add uh, 100 ml of water to our boiling flask. Uh, this way uh, we are going to extract uh, the remaining uh, cinnamon and uh, we are going uh, to distill it until uh, we obtain another 100 ml of this plate. Then we are going uh, to add the two solutions and then we are going to proceed. Uh, as we see, as we said before, uh, the, our distilled is at the beginning really cloudy. After that, when we uh, first obtain uh, our first uh, 100 ml of distillate, we can see that the color tends to uh, clear uh, with the time. And uh, that's because uh, when we uh, proceed with our distillation, more and more water is produced instead of our uh, essential oil and that's why our solution becomes uh, much cleaner because the oil inside is, is uh, much less than before. So the next thing that we're going to do is to put our solution, our solution into a separatory funnel. To this uh, uh, the where we found our solution, we're going to add 60 ml of dichloromethane and we're going to wash it with that and pour this dichloromethane into our separatory funnel. Then we're going to mix a bit these solutions and uh, we're going to put away our dichloromethane after that we're going to repeat this procedure another four times and then we're going to gather all our uh, dichloromy in one uh, recipient. So we know when we are done, when uh, our distillation process, when the solution in our beaker is really clear. After that we just have to uh, put everything together in a separatory funnel and as we said that using DCM, that is a polar solvent, we can extract our uh, essential oil because they are both apolar and they uh, are really um, friendly each other and they tend to mix each other 
Uh, also, we you know that doing this uh, process uh, several times instead of doing just one time uh, with more uh, DCM is much better because it uh, it tends to raise uh, our yield. So we no, we don't uh, add uh, 300 uh, milliliters of DCM, but we just add five times six milliliters of DCM in order to raise our yield. And uh, in this way, we extract the essential oil that is much more soluble in DCM than in water. Um, so the next step for our experiment is uh, to prepare a saturated solution of sodium chloride. Then we're going to add this solution to our separatory funnel where we find our dichlor methane. We're going to mix everything. After that, we're going to leave the two uh, solutions uh, separate one from another and uh, we are going uh, to uh, extract our dichlor methane. We're not going to simply extract it, but we're going to put it in a recipient, for example, a beaker, in which we have added some uh, uh, calcium chloride. And then uh, we are going to filter uh, this solution uh, containing uh, uh, the dichloromethane and the calcium chloride. So DCM has a higher density uh, than water, and that's why we can obtain it from our separatory funnel. And in fact, it is the layer that forms uh, below the water. Uh, also, uh, knowing that we can uh, use um, uh, sodium chloride, a solution of sodium chloride, that uh, is important because it tends to dehydrate our um, DCM, and after that we uh, use also calcium chloride for the same reason. So after that, uh, we are going uh, to uh, take our uh, dichloromethane, which contains, of course, an extract from the cinnamaldehyde or cinnamon, and then we're going to put it in our boiling flask. We're going to boil this uh, solution because uh, uh, first we're going to uh, get back our uh, dichloromethane in this way, and secondly, because what remains will be uh, the extract from the cinnamon, which is a cinnamaldehyde. So at this step, our um, experiment is nearly over. In fact, what we just have to, uh, to do at the end is to distillate, as we said. And this is done because we just have uh, our uh, uh, product mixed with DCM. And during the distillation, we separate, as we know, uh, DCM from our oil. And in this way, we can get back our DCM and store it as we uh, did before. And also our oil that, is, as we said, is cinnamohalide. So guys, the experiment is finally over and we know that this is a really long experiment so you should not do it if you are lazy people. And also we want you to remember that uh, it uh, do not involve really uh, dangerous uh, um, chemicals but in general you should be careful when we, you do experiment at home. So everyone, if you like this video, let us know in the comments. And if you want to see more amazing videos like this, uh, go visit our page and subscribe to it. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching guys!